What makes you think the SNP will maintain the surge for Scottish independence and maintain control in Scottish Parliament? In terms of the party, I think it's fair to say that the SNP has had huge challenges over the course of recent months. But two things, two things give me huge confidence for the future. The first is the fact that, irrespective of the challenges that we've faced, in the opinion polling in Scotland, independence is still roughly 50-50. There was a poll just last week which put us ahead, there was a subsequent poll a couple of hours later which put us just behind. But the reality is that roughly 50% of Scots still want Scotland to become an independent nation. And when you look at the younger cohorts in Scotland, it's overwhelmingly the case that if you're under the age of 25 or 30, the chances are you support Scottish independence in your droves. So I take huge comfort from the fact that so many of my, my fellow Scots want Scotland to be independent. But there's another aspect to this as well, which is despite, despite all the challenges, the internal and external challenges the SNP has faced, the SNP still leads in the opinion polls. We're still ahead of the Labour Party in the opinion polls. And it's still all to play for in certain parts of Scotland. The general election is many months away. I'm pretty confident that when we get out there and we put forward our positive vision for Scotland, we can realise numbers far in excess of our poll numbers at the moment and make sure that we return all my colleagues and hopefully some more to Westminster.